Yeah, the, the recording, um, the recording is kind of like what it expired, expired? I mean, <laughs> inspired, inspired, yeah, totally. And then, so before you started playing uh, the, uh, those new tunes, we're talking about you, you're writing for movies and stuff, mm -hmm. how do you go about, um, you know, that songwriting approach? Is it totally oh. different from when you're just writing? Definitely, stuff, definitely, so much more not thought, but you have to, your, every word is intentional, and you can't just, sometimes like when you're um, singing or writing, I'm sure you know, you're a musician, like when you're just writing a song and you're writing lyrics, you just kind of, it just kind of comes out. There's no like, I'm writing about this, and I'm going to write about it. It's like, I have to sit down and put myself in either the character or the scene's perspective, and try to write down even like what the, what it means to me, what, what does the script mean to me, how who am I writing it for? Is it for an end credit song? Is it a beginning credit song? Is it just maybe for a certain scene? So you have meetings and stuff and you just end up talking like what, you know, what did you connect with more? What part? What are you thinking? And it's just a lot of thought and you can't just kind of go. And then once once you do get in that realm though, however, it's a good training process actually, I think. But um, once you do get in that realm and you can just write because you're in the character's mode and you've studied what it was and what it meant and you could just write about it, then it's, yeah, it's a lot though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's like I just want to jam. Yeah, it's like I just want to write, but they. Yeah, do, do you work closely with the, with the director or anybody on the film, or do they kind of just say, "Here's what we want to do with the movie. Go ahead and write the music." I have the option to um, write with uh, or talk with the director, um, okay. or most sometimes even the actors if I'm writing about them, or if there's like a, a certain character that was. Um, that is like I'm writing about, then I would contact them and just get in their head and you know, and then research the character and if it's a if it's a person that is known well known, it's a documentary for instance, or if it's like, you know, just a character in general, like if this person is this way or that way, you would research it and just I mean that's what I do. I, I I'm kind of meticulous that way. I like to really understand the person and really get inside the character's head so I can get in and out of it any time of the day and be able to write, yeah. So it's kind of like you're becoming the actor. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. like I'm just, you know, sonically <laughs> <laughs> kind of going off on that tangent. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. that, and that's good, you know, you're exploring a new way of writing music and mm -hmm. it's not, you know, a little switch. Yeah, it's good to do. It's good to do. And, and you know, it, it helps too because a lot of times you can, um, you can make a lot, like funding-wise, doing stuff like that to create, to be able to have the freedom to write your own music and your own art. So it's good. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's good. And, and uh, what uh, is the movie? You said the movie's going to come out later this year, or it's do you being have any details on that? Yeah, it's um, it's the well, the documentary is going to hopefully it's sending into Sundance on Sunday, Monday, Monday, and um, so hopefully if that happens and we get to go to Sundance and I can like m the musicians that pl that are in the documentary actually get to go and play and Sundance is a really huge like film festival it's t there's uh, two there's Cannes in France and South of France and there's Sundance in Utah so those two are like really big ones so hopefully that works out um, um, but then the other one I'm working just with the director right now and they're still they're in the pro just doing like post production and um, and so on so I don't know when it's going to be done it just could be months or it could be a year, but yeah, movies take a long, movies time, take a long time. time. Yeah. Is it is it like a do you know how long the film's gonna be, or is it just like a short film, or is it? Oh no, it's like a full length. length. Yeah. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. So yeah, they're gonna be editing. Yeah, for a while, <laughs> for a while. So, but it's cool. It's good. It looks really dope. So. Nice. <laughs> and uh, what is the what is the movie about? Can you give us a little? It's about um it's about love um. <laughs> Sorry, I just stopped. I was like, oh. <laughs> Um, no, it's it's um, it's about love lost and um, mostly about an o o like losing a lo basically the love of your life, but being an older and it's it's kind of it's supposed to be a dream and it's it's a very like dreamlike almost like psychedelic type of movie, um, but based around um, love and what it actually means and it's and if it's in uh, like promoting that it's still alive, that it's still there, that we can still find it and we can still enhance it and we can still feel and that it's not gone and it's not just something that used to be and is not anymore, like we could still look for that um, and that that's kind of like what the movie is, it's things, you know. It's giving you hope for love. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah it's still out there, you just gotta, you know, find the right people. <laughs> I guess I'm so <laughs> emotional, oh my god. <laughs> 
Uh, I know, I won't, I promise. I'm a badass. <laughs> 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 I know. I cry all the time. No. Yeah. <laughs> Love's out there, you know, I guess it's just a little harder to find because of the internet. Just blame it on the internet. Yeah. You know? <laughs> blame it on the... Or blame it on Facebook. <laughs> or MySpace or whatever. Blame it on the juice. Or Tumblr or all those <laughs> sites. I don't know, there's too many sites that you have to be on at. Yeah. Facebook, MySpace, Tumblr, Google+, Plus, Twitter. Jeez. Um, I didn't even know SoundCloud. that. SoundCloud. Yeah, but it's like, can we just get Tumblr. one site? <laughs> I know, really. Especially as a musician. Reverb Nation. Oh, know, yeah. Like, Sonic bitch. <laughs> it's like, let me plug my 20 websites. Yeah. Thank you, my man. www.blahblahblah.com. But you made it easy. You just got weatherthemusic.com. Mm -hmm. And you guys can go there to check out all her info, find out a little more about weather and what she's all about. You got uh, pictures on there, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pictures, uh, mm -hmm. videos, news, tour, past tour, dates you can see where weather has played and been. And, uh, you know, just find out about the artist that's singing. Because obviously you guys can tell there's a lot of soul in that music and it's, it's uh, yeah. you know, it's really, like I said last time, it's really refreshing and organic and to know that that music is still alive out there, you know, that old school feeling, especially Louisiana, I really think that. Cool. <laughs> 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 that old twang, I mean, I'm like, oh, how do you do that? Oh, I love that. Oh, I will, totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then uh, are your EP, do you, uh, are you, is it still tentative as to when that's going to be released? You're still finishing that up? Or? Yeah, we're just, um, we're, <laughs> we want to do um, some promotion and stuff before we put it out. Because it's basically, it's, it's, it was uh, recorded in England, so they're going to release it before it's um, released in America. So we're going to be doing that first. But I hope soon, because I want to do it before the end of the year, but we'll see. I'm kind of... It's ready to go. It's just uh, there's a lot of like other promotion stuff that we have to do because Animal was kind of I just like put it out there and I was like here like right. let's do this you know and it's I didn't really think of now it's like you know you you go through that you're like okay there could have been a lot more promotion for right. the album so now we're trying to do that and I'm so impatient but I'm, yeah. I'm excited. It's so. tough. It's like you're mm -hmm. holding on to your songs that yeah. you can share with the world. They're yeah. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, and they're like, don't release the, <laughs> don't release the name, and, or like, don't release, like, don't play the songs live or whatever. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? You know, like, I don't know. It's not cool, like, because you, know, you you play your old stuff, and you're like, all right, cool, like, you know, it's it's not like it's old. It's yeah. like a year or whatever. <laughs> but it's still like you you feel differently because you yeah. grow, and you know, and when you play shows and you meet people and you go through experiences that life does, you know, you write about certain things. And you're like, I don't feel animal anymore. As much as I used to, I, I understand it, but I'm like kind of like in this new, you know, on a new tip. That's that's really good. I mean, uh, as an artist, I, I think you always have to keep evolving, you know, yeah. discovering yourself. And as you grow, your music changes, and you know, as long as you stay true to yourself, you mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Really good, and you can tell you really pour your emotions into these songs and your, the way you play. You guys couldn't see it in here, but this girl is bad on the guitar. <laughs> she can really play the guitar. Oh, thanks. And you know, and yeah, just that, that's all. and I feel really honored that you come in here and play this, the new songs for us and listeners and everybody here at KBCM. Uh, and you. it was great. And uh, hopefully we can uh, you can come back out towards the end of the semester again and uh, definitely and all the time. Tunes. Yeah, totally. Uh, see if the, the album is ready by then, and we might oh. do a little contest and we'll call um. her get the free. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> and, uh, I know someone was calling. We were trying to answer, uh, but something was. We heard you, it. though. Yeah, we heard you. This we is heard the you. radio, so we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. If you want to email us any request or anything, you can email at redtags at hotmail.com. That's R E T A G Z at hotmail.com. Call her if you have something to say. Go ahead and email it to me, and I will make sure relay the message to weather. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have, do you want to say hi to anybody or anything? Hi, Mom! No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, well, everyone in England, hi, I miss you guys. Um, thank you for listening. I know, what time is it? It's probably, like, really yeah, late over there. Over there. Yeah, they're, like, 8, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Oh, it's not too late. All right.